Hello everybody. We're back to journal together and our journaling agenda for today, which is in your box from the Novi Coalition, is journaling about home. Now there's a couple different ideas and I'm going to read to you the definition of home. It's a house, apartment, etc. where you live, especially with your family. Someone or something, a place of origin or a place where a person feels they belong. Um, what we're going to do right now is kind of do a little current event on what's going on at home. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint our background. And it's just going to be a basic background. And I want to do it like the color of the sky. Maybe you can do any color you want. I'm going to do... Let's try a turquoise. And you just want to lightly, I'm doing it with watercolors today. So you just want to lightly go over it with your watercolors. And we're going to do two pages because, of course, I don't know how to do nothing small. So my journaling takes up more than one page. And then once you get that watercolor on there the way you want, I always like to take a paper towel, kind of press it on there, give it a little texture, and then let it dry. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about some current events at home. At home, in the whole country, in the whole world, we all seem to be fighting this terrible virus that has hit people hard in some places and not so much in others. I'm sure that a few of you watching, it's hit hard and others it hasn't hit at all, but let's have a little fun with it. We're going to cut out either our state or our country, and we're going to decoupage it onto the paper with gesso. Um, you can draw a virus yourself or you can print one out. Your, there's a printed out version attached to your agenda. Um, I have home. And I always like to use my kids or my family in my journaling, so I have a cutout of my son and my daughter many years ago because I'm old now. So, what we're going to do is, let's see, this is dry enough now. We can start our attaching process, and we're going to attach on here. I cut this out. This is in your journaling agenda and so is just your state. But I think it's important that we put where we live and where our home is because that's where we're really having to spend a whole lot of time. So you just want to take your gesso and put it in the back of the paper and I don't think I have enough on here so I'm going to have to put some more and I'm going to put this almost in the center of my page. You can place yours wherever you want to. Make sure and go down that crease so that it doesn't break later on and then go over it with more of the gesso. Take a little more and squeeze out on here. This will also come in your kit. This is what you use as glue, and when you paint it over your page and it dries, it's much easier to use different types of inks and paints on there, and it will go on evenly. So now I'm going to put my little home, and there's a whole page full of homes on your agenda, but you can draw yours if you want to. I'm just going to stick this in the corner down at the bottom. A little tiny home in a whole big world. Now, I'm going to put this nasty looking virus onto the page, COVID-19. And a way that we can help this when we go back to school is to wear our masks to school, to stay six feet apart, to wash our hands all the time. So we've got this on here. Now there's so many ways to fight the virus and I just told you a few. So 
in a perfect world where it's just a comic book figure, my son could karate chop it, but that's not going to work. Wearing a mask would be the much better way to go. And then my daughter will dance around it. So now we want to gesso the whole page just a light coat so that when we go over with the gelatos or with whatever else we're going to put on here, they'll go on smoothly. Um, the suggested reading for journaling at home is The Legend of Michigan. Now there's a whole series of these books and the author I do believe is from Michigan. But there's The Legend of Sleeping Bear, The Legend of the Loon, The Legend of Mackinac Island, the Legend of the Lady Slipper, The Legend of Leelanau, and The Legend of Petoskey. And they're all listed in there. And on your agenda, there is a picture of this book for suggested reading. Um, it is a great story for someone who's just a little older or mom and dad can help because it's kind of long. Um, something to read to themselves, maybe three or four pages before bed. But we have a really great state, and I think you would enjoy reading these books and um, journaling more about maybe each of these books because you've got a lot of pages in your journal to fill. Now that the journaling page is dry and we've talked about the books and we're going to add to it, we're going to add our little um, comic to it, maybe some washi tape. I love working with washi tape. It's my favorite thing to do. You get to stick it wherever you want to. So this one is a fabric washi tape. I just got this. It's lots of fun. And that is if I can get it off the little thing. And with the washi tape, all you got to do is put it wherever you want to. I think I'm going to stick it right here. Oh above her arm. And then you just take the scissors and cut that little edge off. And let's see, let's do, let's grab some other kinds maybe. Oh, this one's music. And a couple other different little things in it. We can just stick a piece here. Maybe put a band-aid on the virus. Hmm. So we just stuck them different places on the page. Now I'm going to show you how to use a gelato. This does not come in your kit, but if you want them, Michael sells them or you can order them on Amazon. You can probably do something very similar with a plain crayon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give my house a little grass by it and just use the green. Dampen my finger a little bit. And it makes my house look like there's a very long lawn between, behind it. And then you can also take, I like this color turquoise, and sometimes I like to just scribble on pieces on the page and give it a little more color. Actually, I just have fun playing. I like to finger paint when I was young. So this is kind of like finger painting. I always say the more layers on a page, the better. And this is just another layer of color. You could probably do the same thing with paint and just darken it up a little bit. But I kind of like the messy. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our black Sharpie and our red Sharpie and we're going to put a heart around our state. And then I'm going to put around the heart, my heart is Michigan. Well, you can put some polka dots in here if you want to. Do about whatever you want. Now we're going to take the black Sharpie and we're going to make this crazy looking thing into a comic. And he's mean, so we'll put that like that. And then we can put 2020 and oh, what a year. Let me get a softer marker out. We could put on here different things we can do to stay safe from this virus that we wish we could dance around or we could karate chop. Put around her, you can't dance around it. And let's make a little bubble. Bam. You can't karate chop it. You can wear a mask. You can stay six feet apart. You can wash your hands. And you can call people on the phone. And you can give air hugs. And you can list all kinds of other things you can do too. So here is my 2020 in Michigan journaling page. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.